Take this simple test to find out what your true body type is. Imagine this, you go to the gym three times a week, do every exercise you can to keep your body in shape, but it's just not working. Why? Are you missing something? The truth is, there are three body types out there, and each one of them has a training plan that works best. So do you want to know your true body type and the exercises that'll help you achieve your dream body within weeks? Then it's test time! But before you grab a pen and piece of paper, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on this little notification bell. Now you won't miss a thing. But enough chit-chat, let's get started. Okay, we have seven questions for you. For each of them, you'll get three answer options. A, B, or C. Write down your letter for every question. The letter that you answer with the most will reveal the truth about your body type. Are you ready? Let's go! Question number one. When you were a child, your body was A. Thin and even kind of bony B. Average or athletic C. Really cute and squishy Question number two. Your chest measurement is A. Under 37 inches B. Between 37 and 44 inches C. Over 44 inches Question number three. It's usually A. Quite difficult for you to gain both muscle and fat. Even if you end up gaining a couple of pounds, your body fights to go back to its normal weight. B. Easy for you to gain muscle, but not so easy to gain fat. C. Not a problem for you to put on muscle or gain a couple of pounds. Question number four. Your shoulders are A. Narrower than your hips B. The same width as your hips C. Wider than your hips Question number five. Your friends would describe you as A. Excited and competitive B. Observant and sensitive C. Relaxed and social Question number six. Your body resembles the shape of A. Nothing really. It's pretty much straight up and down. B. An hourglass C. A pear Question number seven. Wrap your hand around your wrist. In this position, your middle finger and your thumb A. Overlap B. Touch, but just barely C. Don't touch at all And there you go! The test is complete! Count all your A's, B's, and C's and find out what your dominant letter is. All done? Well, here are the results you've been waiting for. If your answers are mostly A, you have an ectomorph body type. This means that you probably have narrow shoulders and hips and a thin and narrow face, chest, and abdomen. The ideal method of training for you is to do split training and use one or two body parts in each workout to target different muscle groups. Stick to doing this exercise about 5 to 10 times. Don't go too crazy with your training, though. It's extremely important for you to have a good rest between your sessions. But don't relax too much, either. Your workouts should become more and more intense as you get used to them. Don't forget to change your workout routine every month or so. You have quite a high metabolic rate, so you should sleep for at least 8 hours each night. If it's possible, try to take naps throughout the day, too. Remember that if you're not feeling well or you're just feeling tired, it's okay to skip your workout. When it comes to your eating habits, it's better for you to eat 5 to 7 small meals a day or every 2.5 to 3 hours. Be sure to increase your protein intake as well. Your menu should consist of 25 to 30% protein, about 50% carbohydrates, and 20 to 25% fats. The best food choices for you are beans, corn, yams, oats, pasta, brown rice, and whole grain foods. And how could we forget about water? 2.5 liters a day should be your go-to amount. 
it's crucial for your body to rest and have time off, and you can always do this through meditation or yoga. If you've never tried it, don't hesitate to add these practices to your life as soon as possible. You'll see a difference right away. One of the biggest downsides of being an ectomorph is that you can get exhausted pretty easily, but it's okay as long as you don't put too much pressure on yourself. If your answers under the letter B were your preferred ones, welcome to the Mesomorph Club! You probably have broad shoulders and a narrow waist, little fat, and a pleasantly muscular body. Go you! Your body responds best to training involving heavy and basic movements and shaping exercises. The more different the exercises are in your workout plan, the better the results. Try to vary the intensity of your training sessions to 3 to 4 weeks of high intensity workouts should always be followed by 3 to 4 weeks of lower intensity workouts. Doing each exercise 8 to 12 times will be enough. The best exercise for your body type includes stair climbing, treadmills, and stationary bikes. Your sleeping schedule should include 7.5 to 9 hours of daily sleeping. Just like ectomorphs, mesomorphs shouldn't work out when they feel sick or tired. Your body is pretty great the way it is, and one day off won't make it any less amazing. As for your eating habits, there are some specific options for you. Let's start with protein. Its intake should be at least 1 gram per pound of your weight. You can take it a little higher with carbohydrates, making them about 60% of your total number of calories. But don't do the same thing with fats. Limit them to no more than 15-20% to a day. Adding skinless chicken, turkey, fish, and egg whites to your meal plan will help you solve this problem. The main thing you should do is listen to your body. Don't exercise too much as it can lead to all kinds of injuries and other awful consequences. Just be patient and keep working. With time, you'll slowly start to see all the results you've been waiting for. Finally, if you went for the letter C, you are a true endomorph. People with this body type have wide hips, narrow shoulders, and a wide bone structure. Endomorphs tend to gain weight easily because of their slower metabolism, but it's losing weight that's a real problem for them. Their body tends to store fat, and this hides their muscle gain. Because of all this, you, as an endomorph, need to work out more frequently. Plan your workout so there will be at least two to three exercises for each body part. You should repeat the exercises 9 to 12 times for your upper body and 12 to 25 times for your legs and calves. Just like ectomorphs, you need to change your workout plans, but even more regularly. The perfect way to do this is to go with a new training session every third workout. High intensity should also become your best friend. You should relax for no more than 60 seconds between sets if you want to get a perfectly toned body. As you have a slower metabolism, sleep isn't an issue for you. Still, keep it at 7.5 hours every day. Your diet should be quite strict, too. Keep your fat intake low, avoid late-night snacks, count your calories, and eat smaller meals. You can follow pretty much any diet you like, but remember to consult your doctor beforehand. However, no sodas or alcohol. Just as with any other body type, 2.5 liters of water is all you need. You should always remember that movement is life. The more you move, the easier it'll be to lose all those unwanted pounds. Try to be more active. Go hiking with your friends, ride your bike at the weekend, start swimming, or get involved with martial arts. The choice is yours. Just don't let yourself be lazy and do nothing. It's no good for your body or your social life. If you got an equal amount of answers for more than one letter, that means you're a combination of two body types. It's not uncommon. On the contrary, finding each body type in its pure form is rare. The most typical and popular combos are the ectomorph-mesomorph and mesomorph-endomorph. Now that you know the descriptions for each body type, try to plan your workouts based on the advice you've seen for your types in particular. If you have weak legs, pay more attention to them. If you're worried about your arms, go for exercises that'll make them stronger. Just keep looking for different workout plans and trying new things. Eventually, you'll understand what works best for your body.
So, what's your body type? Were you surprised by your results? Tell us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and share it with your friends to help them plan their training sessions as well. Hit the subscribe button if you want to hang out on the bright side of life more often. We'll see you soon.